Parimal Raj, React Native Developer. We will explore the revolutionary possibilities uh, built within Oveon's low-code platform. So our platform provides developers with a full toolkit for everything from smooth app creation to insightful analytics and data security. Today's key highlights of uh, the discussion is discovering how Gen AI streamlines content creation and personalized uh, user experiences and harnessing the power of insightful analytics for data-driven decision-making and ensuring robust mobile app security protocols for uh, data integrity and user privacy. Uh, most, moreover, like automated a process to expedite time to market and drive faster deployment and infusing intelligence into apps with automated features, simplifying complex stacks. And uh, the final thing is uncovering the art of effortlessly customizing applications to align with diverse business needs and delivering flexibility and scalability at every turn. So I request uh, Mr. Parimal to take over from here. Good evening, everyone. This is Parimal, React Native Developer from Kovayan. I am delighted to see all of you here in this webinar, and I hope all of you will add more spices to this webinar. So I start sharing my screen. Okay. I hope it is visible for all of you. Let me start with the agenda of this webinar. Today, I'm going to take webinar in this topic of generative AI use cases in App Builder platform. So this is our agenda. So first, we're going to start with the problem statement and then the basic concepts of AI, and then generative AI, and the solution for the problem statement, and some of the key features for the solution, and then generative AI in application. So let me start with our problem statement. So what is our problem statement? Our problem statement is, creating an application manually. So while creating an application manually, these are the challenges that we are facing. From these challenges, we're going to take uh, this application category that we're going to apply the use cases of the generative AI. Before jumping to the generative AI, let's we first cover the basic concepts of AI. So what is AI? AI is an intelligent agent created. It might be a machine or program that perform a task with requiring intelligence of human with discipline called AI. So what is discipline? Discipline is a subset of AI. So what are the subsets? Deep learning is a subset of machine learning and machine learning is a subset of AI. In machine learning, we have four classes. Before to that, let me see the, what is machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of AI where it is a program or system that trains a model from the input. So in this machine learning, we have four classes called supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement, and then deep learning. Let me see it one by one. First, we see what is supervised learning. Supervised learning where the training a model by inputting the label with the tags and expecting the probabilities as an output called supervised learning. For example, predicting the heart attack possibilities for the Person. For example, I am going to train a model from the patient details who are all faces the heart attack previously based on the daily routines as a training data to the model. Once the model trained, then it will going to predict the possibilities for possibilities of the heart attack for the 
persons called supervised learning then what is unsupervised learning unsupervised learning is the model training with the unlabeled data called unsupervised learning it generalizing or cluster the output of the model for example employee salary who are all in the fast track in salary is the example for the unsupervised learning then reinforcement learning what is reinforcement learning it train model by inputting outcome of the another model called reinforcement learning and then finally deep learning let's we'll take a deep look into the deep learning deep learning is a subset of ml that use the ai neural network what is a neural network a neural network is similar to like our human brain it consists of nodes or neurons that perform a complex pattern task where it trained with a small amount of labeled data and then unstructured data to perform a complex task in deep learning we have two types discriminative and then generative what is discriminative discriminative is a model that used to classify or predict for example i am going to train a model to predict whether the image is in a dog or cat image for that we are going to use the discriminative in deep learning then what is generative ai generative ai that generate the data that was inspired from the trained data called generative ai in generative ai we have a different models for example text to text synthetic data and image or video so in app development platform we are going to use generative ai text to synthetic data model so in generative ai we are going to input the unstructured data to the ai model and it going to generate the output as a new content this unstructured content may be anything like text audio video or images or the unstructured content that we going to feed as an input to the ai model then from this ai model we we'll generate the output from the trained data to the new content and this new content it also be in a text image video model so what's our solution for the problem set and so solution is ai assisted app builder platform by kovayan where it it is the platform where user can able to create a application for cross platform like web android and ios let's we see the key features of the app builder platform our user can able to drag and drop the ui and we can also able to represent the view in different format and also we can able to import export the application schema from the app builder platform itself and also it providing the creating the functionality by an workflow model and also it providing a scheduler to schedule your job and to to do the job on time and also we are providing a geo based user access and just a one click deployment and also push notification allows to make user to engage in the app by sending the notifications so these are the enterprises great security that are available and providing by the app builder platform information stored in dedicated database 
providing authentication and authorization access based on roles and also providing a data securely trained and stored at rest. So finally, let me see how we use the generative AI in App Builder platform. So while creating an application in App Builder platform, where user can use the generative AI feature to create a field for the application based on the application name and description. So normally can user able to create application without the knowledge. Such a way it will reduce the time and effort in App Builder platform. Let's see the demo how to generate the application with a generative AI. So this is a portal where we can able to build the application for the class platform. First, user want to register its business detail in this portal. Once user complete all these steps, then everything is good. They're going to get the dedicated URL for the App Builder platform portal. So once user sign up successfully, then they can able to access this portal by the dedicated URL. So here user can log in with the email ID and then password. Once you sign sign up successfully and log into the portal, it will take us to the dashboard of the portal. So when you enter to the dashboard, here you can see the create new application button. So with this button, it go take redirect to the application creation page. So here you can enter the application details first. Now I'm going to create one notes making app. So from this application, we can add this application to some other under categories. But as of now, I'm going to add this application to the employee engagement category. And also I am putting the description for this application. So what here the use case of the generative AI means when I click this uh, create AI generated application means then the model get the details from the application name and then the description is going to provide the text to synthetic data format so when i click the create a generated application button it will create the fields that is related to the name of the application and the description let me see the output yeah now the application created successfully and it's added to the under the category of employee management so here's the notes making app created by the generative ai this application is not yet deployed. Why? Because it just created the fields, but it not deployed the application. Let's we see what the fields that generative AI created related to the application name and description. So it created notes form, and then I'm going to check what are the fields that it's created. So this title and then content and the category all these fields are created by the ai so when i enter the hospital management application 
means then it going to create the fields that are related to the hospital management now i just created notes making app so for that reason it's created a title content and category so these are the fields that are generated by the ai so with this thing user don't want any domain knowledge to create a application and to deploy a application in the wherever they want so with this platform you can able to deploy the application for the class platform like android ios and then web now uh, going to deploy this application and going to feed this data so this application not this a, generative ai not create the fields alone it also created the data type for this fields also so here the data type for the title field is text and then the i'm going to check the content data type so and now i'm going to deploy this application to enter some notes Yeah, now the application deployed successfully. Let's we go to the dashboard. Yeah, now the application changes to live. Let's we go to inside this application. As of now, we don't have any notes. So now I'm going to create one notes. and then i am creating entering the uh, category i'm going to enter it as the work and then i am saving the form now it's listed in the table so now we demonstrate just only in the web platform you can also convert this all things to an android and ios Let's we check how we can able to do that in this app builder platform. So I'm going to the site menu bar. In that you can able to find the administration. In that you can find the option called mobile application. So here I am entering the Android and iOS name. So here you need to enter the mail ID. So once the bill completed, means then you're going to get that bills to this mail only. So I'm just clicking next. Here it listing all of the application that we previously created. So here it's showing the notes making app and just clicking it from that it's showing inside what are the forms in that application and just choosing the notes form and then selecting that then into next and then generate so now here it take up to 30 minutes for the application to generate once it generate it will send to the a email that you are provided so such a way now we attend one of the use cases of the generative ai in app builder platform
so once a generated the form right in such a way you if the a miss some fields means in the form generation we are allowing the user to customize the a generated form and also we are allowing the user to add more on components from the component list to the form yeah any queries yeah hi Perman. we do have a couple of queries so what is the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning i repeat what is the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning so uh, the difference between the artificial intelligence and then the uh, machine learning is na ai encompass bordered concept of machines performing tasks requiring human intelligence while ml is a subset of ai focusing on system learning from the data okay uh, so can you explain the concept of supervised learning in machine learning i repeat can you explain the concept of supervised learning in machine learning yes yeah, supervised learning involves training a model on labeled data where desired output is known as supervised learning okay so what are the some popular ai development platforms or frameworks i repeat what are some popular ai development platforms or frameworks yeah tensorflow and then i chart and skitty learning are the popular framework for the ai development platforms okay so how does natural language processing nlp contribute to ai powered applications i repeat how does natural language processing nlp contribute to ai powered applications yeah it's enable computers to understand and interpret and generate human language because for tasks like sentiment analysis and chatbots okay so what role does neural networks play in ai development i repeat what role does neural networks play in ai development yeah neural networks is inspired by the human brain process complex data input to generate outputs okay so what are some common programming languages used in ai development i repeat what are some common programming languages used in ai development yeah uh, python r and java are the common programming languages for the ai But most of the large community we have only in python why because it is more advanced programming language that supporting inbuilt uh, num and then lot of library for the a it's so far that most of the people choose python for the a development platform okay so my final question is how does cross platform app development differ from native app development i repeat how does cross platform app development differ from native app development cross platform development builds app for multiple operating system using a single board yes. unlike native development specific to each platform so such a way we can use the cross platform development to build apps we can generate for the cross platform like android ios web even with the react native we can also develop the application for the windows and the mac machine also okay thank you parimal actually the webinar was really informative and you answered the queries so good so thanks for the session 
So finally, about Coveon. So we Coveon, we rede redefine excellence in personalized solutions across HR, ERP, CRM, and app development. As a leading managed service provider in IT and BFS tech, we excel in delivering transformative experiences, boasting accolades like being the foremost in APAC for Oracle HCM Cloud implementation and trusted by global Fortune 500 companies. With a global footprint spanning 45 plus countries and over 210 engagements, Coveon operates from five global delivery centers like India, UK, and US. With a talented workforce of 240 plus employees and our expertise encompasses Oracle PeopleSoft Enterprises, Oracle HCM Cloud, Oracle Fusion Applications, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Oracle ERP Cloud, and Oracle Talio. So what are the key offerings are end-to-end -end digital transformation, Experts in PeopleSoft, Oracle Cloud, and Talio. Cloud transformation, AI, automation, and emerging tech app development. Experience innovation with Coveon, where agility meets intelligence for unparalleled results in your digital journey. So thanks for everyone for joining the informative webinar. So thanks for your time and have a great day. Yeah, take care. Bye.